Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna to continue the Department 56 Rest and Peace Crip Series review. And today we're gonna to be jumping in and taking a look at the 2021 piece, last year's release of the Rest and Peace Crip, which is again, one of my all time favorite Crips. I think it'll probably be one of yours as well. We're also gonna look at the accompanying uh, accessory, the coordinating accessory piece called the Guardian of Darkness. And so with that, let's jump right in and take a good look at these two uh, really cool pieces for 2021. Okay, like always, we start with uh, taking a good look at the box here. This is the 2021 Rest in Peace Crypt. It's what we're gonna be jumping in and taking a look at today. If you were to have bought this new in 2021, this Crypt would have set you back $90. And then the coordinating accessory piece, the Guardian of Darkness, uh, again, released last year to coordinate with this crip would have set you back $24. And so uh, instead of doing the normal review on the, the little turntable, we're gonna take the review into the graveyard because the graveyard is already set up and working for this season. And so with that, let's jump in and take a look at this crip. So, like all the other crypts, this one is really incredibly detailed. I love the, the architecture on this particular crypt. It is really well done. It's old and rustic uh, style. You can see the base as I jump, uh, zoom in just a little bit. Uh, typical, this is a ceramic building, so typical uh, base uh, paint job is amazing on this as you would expect. And I like the door and the paint job on the door, it almost looks metal. It, clearly it's not. And right above the door on either side of the cross, you see the 20 and the 21 uh, to commemorate the year. It's got one light off the right side of the door as you're looking at it, and then a jack-o'-lantern that is lit up quite nice uh, off to the right side of the crypt. This crypt is adorned with a huge cross in the front, which I absolutely love. It looks really, really good in my opinion. You've got some little um, columns that aren't really columns, more artwork there uh, represented. And then you've got these little design, uh, almost like little gargoyles, but not quite off of the edges. And then you've got this spider web looking window in the top of the crypt, which looks incredibly cool. This crypt, unlike some of the others, and you can see the others kind of off into the background, this doesn't flash uh, orange and then purple. It just stays orange, which I absolutely love. And then uh, the top of the crypt has got this uh, little ornate uh, kind of a spire with a, with a little ball uh, on top of that. And the roof itself is, the paint is, is pretty cool. And it's, it's got some of the green tones in it to kind of represent some of the, the moss or the mold that is growing onto the crypt. And now if we take a turn to the side, you can see the side of the crypt, again, looks really, really cool. Nothing, nothing too remarkable. You got a big plant that kind of grows out of it over here and kind of up the side. You've got some areas that are clear, clearly uh, coming apart on the crypt, like in most of the crypt series, so you can kind of see that. And then again, another window uh, you've got four of those windows going around this crypt all around the top. And again, some of those little ornate, um, not really gargoyles, but just ornate uh, decorations up around the top part of that crypt. And then if we come around to look at the other side, give me a second for the camera to catch up here. You can see, and I got to be careful, I'm up against the wall here, really, but about the same, not, uh, not too much different on this side. Uh, and then in the back, I'll get the back here in a moment, but before we jump around and take a look at the back of the crypt, let's pull the uh, Guardian of Darkness out a little way so we can zoom in on him right in the center of the, the graveyard here and sort of take a look at him. He is a very cool figure. He is uh, all resin, just like most of the coordinating accessories he is an all resin piece. He is incredibly cool looking. You can kind of see the, the look on his face if I can get zoomed in specifically on him. 
Uh, very, very cool looking piece. Um, just the detail is amazing. The beard, his lips coming through the beard. He's got his beads, he's got a cross, and he's got three skulls stacked up uh, next to him. Uh, so very, very cool piece. You can see there just by the size of my hand compared to him, he's fairly good size, two and a half to three inches, I would imagine, in length. Um, he's got that rope belt on. That's just the detail is just really, really good on this as, as you would expect. And so he coordinates perfectly uh, with this, with this piece. And so I personally, I would have, I wouldn't have one without the other. It's just a really, really, really cool piece. So, uh, with that, let's jump back and take a look at the back of this crypt. Okay. So we're looking at the back of the crypt here. And again, I can only get so close as to uh, everything set up in the graveyard, but really you, you can't, there's not a lot of difference on the back of the crypt. And I said there was four windows. There's only three. There's not one in the back. You can see there that there's nothing there. So there's only three windows around the top part of that spire there on the crypt. You've got another uh, area coming apart in the crypt where you can see the light through and then you can kind of see where uh, the cord comes out. And then obviously you can see that goes down through the foam and into underneath uh, like we always hide the cords there so uh very 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 cool crypt and uh yeah this is this is one that is a, a must-have for me this was again pretty excited when i saw this uh design uh last year and knew that i had to get it okay back to the front of the crypt just for one final look again love this crypt this is uh this is still readily available if i'm not mistaken probably that most retailers would have this. It may be even available on the Department 56 website. If it's not, then obviously you've got to rely on eBay. And I, it, I haven't even checked Amazon lately for this one, but perhaps you can still uh, get this one on Amazon as it's last year's model. So if you don't have it and you're looking to add this to your collection, now would be a really good time to get it before it goes up in value any more than it already has. And then obviously if it were me, I would swing back down here and grab uh, the Guardian of Darkness as well to make sure that you got a set there. And uh, you, I don't think you'll be sorry for either one of these purchases. These are really, really good quality. And uh, certainly if you like the Crips, this will, this will add to your collection in a, in a very positive way. Okay, well, hopefully that gives you a better and more in-depth look at the 2021 Rest in Peace Crip and the coordinating accessory piece, Guardian of the Darkness. Uh, very, very cool pieces that uh, would be a must have if you're, if you're into the you know, collecting of the rest of these crypts uh, like I am. And again, I believe these are still readily available. Uh, I, don't, I don't search a whole lot uh, e either uh, currently like in Amazon or Department 56 or um, you know, secondhand sites like eBay and Macari for pieces that I already have typically, unless I want to get an extra of one thing or another to keep in my collection. So, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure that these are still uh, plenty available. Uh, and so if you don't have them, now would be again, a good time to, to put them into your collection. Hey, so what we're going to do coming up, just so you're aware, uh, I'm going to start uh, next week um, on doing the curved piece with three buildings on that piece. So you've got that to look forward to. And then I'm going to also do some pretty easy, simple vignettes that don't require a lot of carving, um, some no carving at all. And so if you've only got a crypt and an accessory, uh, the coordinating accessory piece, and you're trying to find a, a cool way to display that without having to do hot wire foam tools or a bunch of extra steps with the glue and the spray. I'm gonna go over through some, some small little tutorials that'll help you set those, uh, those uh, things up without having to carve anything. And they can look really, really cool. So you've got that to look forward to. That'll be coming again uh, sometime next week. So, hey, like always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. One, it helps me out with the channel to grow. And two, it keeps me motivated and, and lets me know that you guys are excited about providing more and more content. 
And if you have comments or questions, please leave those below. I try to get to every single one. I try not to miss a single question, and I appreciate all the comments. Um, so with that, uh, we're going to keep this one relatively short. And so until next time, take care of yourselves, and we'll talk again real soon.